What is going for us? And welcome back to the Journeyman with me, Foggy Plays on FM22. Today we're taking on Shanghai Port and Kunshin in the league. Uh, we did play Shanghai Shenhua in the cup and we uh, unfortunately couldn't do the business. But we're on a decent run of form recently, so hopefully we can keep that going. If you do go on to enjoy this episode though, of course, as always, hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Right, fellas, so as you can see from the league table, we're currently sitting 10th after 15 games, which isn't actually the worst thing in the world. I did not expect to be in this, not going to say comfortable of a position, but I didn't expect us to be outside the bottom two. Also, didn't expect Shanghai Shenhua to be there because um, they are quite a good team. So, interesting. Uh, since you were here last in the defeat to... Uh, Dalian Pro, we have gone on a bit of a decent run. We did lose to Shanghai Shenhua in the uh, fifth round of the cup, as I said. Didn't really deserve to win, but at the same time, we didn't really deserve to lose. Uh, then we went and played Henan, and thankfully, managed to score a cheeky little victory. Deo Antonio with a cheeky little hat-trick. It was. Um, and then against Shanghai in the league, we beat them with... a somewhat controversial goal um song looked quite offside but it was given as not offside so i'm not going to complain and then our most recent game against the mighty lions we drew it was a very poor game so we're not going to worry too much about it we are just about to start the transfer window um as you can see first of july don't have any transfers of yet to to speak of but we are hemorrhaging money uh, the club put 400,000, yeah, 411,710 pounds in this month. So as you can imagine, things aren't looking that great. We have changed tactic a little bit. Um, we've gone to a 4-2-3-1. It seems to be working, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. That's pretty much the team that started the last game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I probably am, because that was a couple of hours ago. I went off and had my dinner. Um, so we've gone for a box to box midfielder and a Mazella and the advanced playmaker playing in the number 10 slot hopefully the players can do well I know Safe Seed says here he's playing a 6.62 he actually looks like he's playing decently well um, and Sun has been playing out of his skin recently so I'm just going to keep him in um, We is playing a 7.22 but he's not doing an awful lot Every highlight, I yeah, see no changes from the last game. Uh -huh. um, yeah, uh, we seems to just be kind of there, and that's really all he's doing. He's just kind of on the pitch, and somehow that's getting him a decent rating. But he's taking an awful lot of interesting shots, shall we say? They're not. They're very speculative. There's very little in the way of actual football when it comes to. Uh, to we so he hasn't done an awful lot since his birthday which was the i think he scored a brace that day we're just gonna keep going with the team that seems to be working the best uh groom since i moved him over to the right side has been a good bit better and he's made his debut for nepal so he's a little bit happy with himself i would imagine I, i'd be quite happy if i made my international debut um, I have changed Antonio's role for today because I've played him as an advance forward and he's had one good game, one really, really, really bad game. Played him as a poacher. He's just been bang average, like a 6.7. Um, and we've played him as a pressing forward and he seemed okay. That was in a two-man strike force. So I'm wondering what he's going to do today. The fact that he's a pressing forward by himself. Zhang has smashed the crossbar. Uh, the one thing about Antonio that makes him a bad pressing forward is the fact he has two bravery. Um, and Josh Collins has hit the crossbar again. We've been quite unlucky so far. Hit the woodwork twice in the first half hour. Uh, we do have another corner. Wang Chao whips it in. And Zhang's put it wide. Why wasn't... I haven't fiddled 
with the uh the corner routines that well i've got a couple of corner routines but i haven't like put people in specific positions based on height heading and jumping reach you know the things that most people would i've just kind of said off you go let's see what you can do um but generally speaking josh collins does end up being the one that gets on the end of it for some reason not there uh we are going to change um oh go on and see if things can clear um antonio has been changed to an advanced forward is this going to pay off straight away it has not um but at least we saw more of him in that little highlight than we did for the majority of the first half uh, Saif, again, playing a 6.4, 6.3. Generally speaking, he's an awful lot more involved. Um, but our entire right side doesn't seem to be having a great day. Before, I was just about to say, I would, I would take a draw from this game. If uh, if you said to me at the start of this game, do you want a draw? I would have been like, yeah, I'll take a draw. But I feel like we deserve to win this. We've been the better team. But we're going to end up losing. No, no, no. Handborn has uh, stopped that one. That's probably the best thing he's done. This match. Um, Abdelhan. Abdelhan. Yet another corner. And this time they've headed just over. We're going to have to make a couple of changes because it doesn't look like we're having a great day. Uh, Saeed is going to come off. We're going to bring on Tang Mao. On the verge of, well, he's off to retire at the end of the season. He's going to come on and play 25 minutes. Um, Zonki is going to come on for Song. Just, Jesus, Son gliding his way across the, the pitch to pick up the ball. We're uh, seeing an awful lot of Shanghai highlights. We've not really done a huge amount. Also, this kit clash. Oh, what a save by Sun. This kit clash is uh, just delightful. Red and orange playing against each other. He could have put us in our blue kits. Um, so, right. There's like 14 minutes left. Deo is playing me. We're going to bring on We. Make him a poacher because he physically I don't think he's that good. Um, Hoi Yang is going to come on for Jing Ying. And, because I said Grug was having a good good time, of course he was going to have a poor game. Uh, we're going to bring on Heron. The dude doesn't get a huge amount of opportunities. Oh! Came back to a cheeky little shot from Shanghai. What could have been? We, um... Or not. Oh, that was a great defensive block by somebody, and then Hanborn obviously has to hack his man down. Oh, he's gone to fair. He's gone to check the telly. He's having a look. We've never actually. I don't think the referee's ever gone to the telly when we're at home. Maybe we can't afford a telly. Of course, the penalty was awarded. I'm already prepping for skip replay because we are going to concede this one. I'm so confident we're going to go attacking. For a second there, I was like, we not, are they not taking the penalty? I wonder if it was just, it wasn't worth showing because it was that bad. Yeah, Ricardo Lopez puts it into the opposite corner of which the goalkeeper went to. Alright, encourage. Do we have no more substitutions? Fantastic. Try Chin as the Mazella. Because I think he's he wants to be a box to or a advanced playmaker. But I don't really want to play him as an advanced playmaker. Josh Collins not having a great game. We're going to fall to Shanghai in a game which, to be fair, looking at the ratings, they deserved to win. We were underdogs. Couldn't expect much out of you, lads. 
couldn't have talked about how great, how good we were. Like how good we've been playing. Because we were so very bad in that game. Um, And the next game is against Kunshin. Transfer window will have opened. Hopefully we'll have some bit of business to talk about. Because otherwise... This is going to be slightly depressing. Because we're not having a great time. So we will be back in just a second for the Kunshan game. And I'll update you on any transfers that may happen. So back in a second. Right, fellas. So it is time for us to take on Kunshan now. Um, Halfway point of the season. We're doing significantly better than expected. Sitting 11th. So hopefully we can add an extra three points to our 19 that we already have. Um, We've... We have signed one player, but I'm not going to bother showing them to you because they're not very good. Um, not many changes for today's game, I don't think. Uh, Wang Chao comes in. We is going to play up front. Antonio is going to move over to the left. And I think those are the only changes. No, they aren't because we has come in for safe. So I'll just move players around. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, after last game, Saeed wasn't wasn't at his best so i've decided to not start him um the kunchan goalkeeper's name is peng peng interesting name stick to the plan stay patient and we'll be fine the fans expect to win no okay you don't care just give everyone a bit of motivation just uh, give everyone a bit of faith you know i believe in everything that you're doing you're all footballers to some degree um handbone has just signed a new contract as well. Deo Antonio. Just pop him in as a, an invert or inside forward. Two minutes in. Finds back in the net. Get in. Fantastic. Wang Chow was involved. Got it across. Deo Antonio. Dinks it over. Ping ping. <laughs> ping ping. Chinese names are just beautiful a win would see us jump to 10th which is actually much better than i was expecting uh ding speculative effort didn't find the back of the net that's not the important thing the important thing is the fact that we are doing decently well 15 minutes in um wang chow that was i have never seen someone do that before Headed it behind him. While facing. That was spectacular. The dude may not be able to finish his breakfast. But he sure can head a ball. Um, and speaking of. He's just won a penalty. Absolutely hacked down by. Zhou Mingjing. Ming, Mingxin. Um, I'm assuming Josh Collins is going to step up to take this. He doesn't want to be left behind. He's put it. In the back of the net. That is eight for, for the season for our Irish centre back. <laughs> Irish centre back playing in China. He has uh, decided today is going to be the day where he's going to continue scoring because Deo Antonio has scored. So I, I think he just purely does not want to be beaten by the striker. He's like, I was top goal scorer for a while. Deo decided to have a one good game where he scored a hat trick. And now. Just cool as you like. The man is amazing. Josh Collins. You absolute beaut. Because uh, when we were at uh, Dog Pills and they decided to sign. Oh, oh Deo. Wang Chow. Oh. Gave away a penalty and then the dude goes and <laughs> scores an own goal. Not going well for him. Um, when we were at Dogfields and the director of football decided to sign Connor Clifford, we didn't get a chance to play him because he signed a pre-contract and we were, uh, as the World Wrestling Entertainment um, Twitter would say, we were future endeavoured. So that's that's how, how life goes. Why is Deng so far back? He's an advanced playmaker. In the number 10 role. And he's the one that, that's back to pick up the ball from a throw. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, I think uh, 
having an Irish player in the team has been quite nice. Seeing as how I'm also, you know, partial to a bit of Irish. Uh, what? Are, are, this is definitely going to be either them. Okay, it was, yeah, it was either them punting it forward or us. Oh, Deo Antonio with another goal. Um, there was two things were going to happen in that situation. They were either going to ping it forward and get it over the top of the defence and score, or they were going to make a mistake. And neither of those things happened. They ended up pinging it over the top, and we scored. But I do think, even though we're not a very good team, I think we proved last year we were better than Kunshin. And, oh, Zheng, Deo with the assist. Maybe Deo Antonio is actually a left inside forward. Because this is playing quite well. We haven't seen anything of Wii yet. We has literally just been there as a body. Antonio on the ball again. That looked like that went in. We is so unlucky there. Oh, that's hardly a penalty. Oh, referee, come on. That's not a penalty. Don't. Don't do it. Buru is like, no. No. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if that if they gave a penalty for that, I would have been like, are you serious? Yeah, Zhu Mingjing, he's going to have to come off. They're going to have to take him off. He's on a 5.9. He's given away a penalty and scored an own goal. I think it's one of those situations where you look at him and you're like, the poor guy, just... He's already dead. Just take him off. Uh, to be fair, like none of their players are actually playing that well. Abubakar, their right wide centre back, is uh, the only one that's playing decently well. Uh, Wang has won the ball back. Is Collins still in the box? He isn't. Zheng puts it over. Uh, Jingping has... Picked up a calf strain. So we will endeavour to take him off in... Yeah, we'll take him off now. Might as well. Might as well just make the change now. We're going to bring on we. Um, we're also going to take off the other we and bring on Yan Zhao. I'm going to leave him up front and see what he can do. Um, I'm going to take Deng off and bring on Chen Howren. But have him as an advanced playmaker on attack just so he can get in a little bit more, maybe, to get more involved. But I think we've I think we've proven today that we are a better side than Kunshan. The fact that we like we're five up, we probably could have scored more. Um I've just realized my green screen is freaking out a little bit, but there's no point in fixing it now because the game is almost over. Going to give the lads a bit of praise. They have stuck with the the two guys who are having an absolute mare of a game. So we're just going to. I just I, I don't care. Um, that's fine. We'll we'll deal with the fact that they're just going to keep playing players who aren't having a good time. Um. And Fan is going to come on for Wang. What we're going to do just a cheeky little, uh, little flick around. Fan is one of our youth players that came through the youth intake last year. Um, he's progressed fairly well in the time that he has been in the under 19s. Under 19s? Yeah, the under 19s. So I decided to call him up to the first team because we are a little bit short on white players. And oh, you. Minghin, he's making up for it. I was going to mention that he had moved to like a 6 or 6.1. He's got to score himself a cheeky little goal. Unless I'm thinking of, is it a different person? No, he's playing so poorly that even with a goal, he's still on a 5.9. You know you're having a bad day when that happens. Um, But 5-1, I'll take it. We're back to a... Uh, a zero goal difference. That's acceptable. We had an XG of 1.97. Scored 5. To be fair. That was nice work lads. Well done. We gave a, a debut 
to a young winger. And Richard Jacka played his first game in potentially this this season actually. He's been out injured quite a lot. So we haven't had him around an awful lot. Um result puts us ninth currently. But there is the Mighty Lions can jump us with their game later at some point. Um I have I have applied for a job. Um, that came up because it was too good to turn down. Um, I'm not going to get it, I don't think. Jing, Jing is out for seven weeks. Um, and we have given Fan Yiji his debut. Like Physically, this guy is quite good. Apart from the fact he's got no strength, not much stamina, I can't jump. Technically and mentally, not great. Like, one... Determination less than ideal, but that's fine. Classy Antonio, two goals and an assist. Superb in front of goal, my, my friend. Thank you very much for what you have done. So we're going to come back at the end of the transfer window, probably for Shandong and Shanghai Shenhua. Two away games. Fantastic. Assuming we're still at the club. Um, it'll be these two games because I think Shandong are still unbeaten. So... Maybe we're the ones to end it. Probably not. I wouldn't think so. Um, and Shanghai just doing really poorly. So be interesting to see what happens there. Finance wise we are destroyed. It's just not working. Uh, we've got players that are going out on loan. And we signed Mai Yu from Guangzhou Evergrande Football School. So. He's not, he's not great. Not worth looking at him. So if you have enjoyed this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. And of course, I will see you in the next one.